Hey guys, it's Mark Sazeski and welcome to another Revista workflow tutorial. Today we're going to walk through the flowchart and how the relationship of Revisto associates back to Revit, Navisworks, and AutoCAD. So this is going to be a high level overview. If you want to see more detail on how to set this up, please go to our initial setup videos. Um, so to start off, we're going to actually walk through uh, exporting out of Navisworks. So I'm going to show you the flowchart and then we're going to walk through and actually do it. So here we're going to append all of our AutoCAD files and WCs into Navisworks, just like our original Navisworks workflow. So we're going to make sure everything's lined up. It should be in shared coordinates because we're working in Revisto. And we're going to export that out to, uh, to Revisto. So once it's pushed out to Revisto from Navisworks, we're going to share that to the cloud and invite our team members. Those team members are going to pull the file, the Revisto file, because your Navisworks file is not going to the cloud, down to their local machine, and they're going to then go back into Navisworks, AutoCAD, or Revit, whatever program they're technical in, and they're gonna link that specific uh, Revisto file that they pulled from the cloud that they're invited to, to their local project. So click link settings, they're gonna select the project they've been invited to, and that is what tells the Revisto issue tracker that the local AutoCAD file, the Revit file, or Navisworks file is associated to the project they've been invited to in Revisto. Once that is done, we're going to be able to walk through that model in real time in Revisto, create issues, and track those in any of these programs. So what that means is when an issue is marked up in Navisworks, we're going to be able to open that up in AutoCAD or open that up in Revit. If an issue is created in Revisto, we're going to be able to view that in AutoCAD or Navisworks or Revit because we're utilizing shared coordinates. Another thing that I've recommended for folks to do, and I know it's kind of a headache in Navisworks and, uh, and definitely a pain point, is being able, to know, being able to understand where you are within the model based on the room names. As everybody knows, the NWC process eliminates room names, so we don't have those within Navisworks. So then what I would recommend is actually just opening up your architectural file in Revit um, and isolating all of those, so hiding the entire model and then linking or appending that RVT file with everything turned off and just selecting that new view that you've created with nothing on and check rooms. So we can bring in room names and now we'll have a Navisworks file in Revisto that has the room names. And it's really nice to be able to uh, move around the model and be able to see where we're located and utilize the room feature. If you're not familiar with the room feature, please check out our Getting Started tutorial that we focus specifically on that. So now I'm gonna show you how this is done live. So we're gonna jump over to our Navisworks file and as you can see, this is a, a big appended model. We have a bunch of NWCs in here that we've created into our NWD or NWF. And simply all I'm gonna do is select Revisto and export. So once I've exported this model, um, you know everything's gonna be brought through. And then we're going to jump into Revisto. We're gonna come up here and we're gonna make sure that we've been invited to this project. So when I double click it, it's gonna open that project up and now we have this here in Revisto. So once I've been invited, I'm able to go back into AutoCAD or Revit. So I'll open up my Revit file. I'm gonna select Revisto 4 and I'm gonna link this project. Mine's already linked, but I'll do it again. It's gonna say, would you like to create a new project? No, I'd like to link this to an existing project I've already been invited to. So I'm gonna find this in my project browser, double click on it and now that file is linked. It works the exact same in AutoCAD or Navisworks or in any other program that you have linked to Revisto. So now that that project is linked, I'm gonna create a new 3D view with everything turned off and I'm gonna come back to Revisto. I'm gonna export this and I'm going to select that new view where I have nothing turned on except for, um, we're gonna ensure that we have this export rooms checked. So we can uncheck all of this except for export rooms and that is what's gonna bring your room names into your Navisworks file in Revisto. So if I jump back to our Revisto file, we can see when I select the map button, we don't have any room names in here and that's because we export directly out of Navisworks. 
or if I go into um, the menu button, you can see rooms is grayed out because they weren't brought in because that was directly imported from Navisworks. Um, so we can also decide to bring in our sheets as well. That's another huge benefit if you'd like to bring in the 2D sheets directly from Revit as well. So I'd highly recommend um, doing that and keeping the export sheets button checked so you can see where your model um, issues that you're tracking in Navisworks, where those fall on your 2D plans that came from Revit. So now that that's set up, we can create issues instead of creating viewpoints in Navisworks and these issues are all gonna be tracked through the issue tracker in real time and will show up back in the Revit file, the Revisto file, the AutoCAD file, and anybody else that has linked their Navisworks file to the Revisto local file.